Hello everyone, today we're going to learn how to create a magnifying glass effect right here in Canva. So let's get started. Okay, the first thing that I'd like to do is to select a photo that we can work with. I don't really have a photo in mind, so maybe we can search for some photos on the elements section. Mm, perhaps this one is okay. I'm going to set it as background, so I'm going to right click and from the drop down, select set image as background. And okay, that'll be our base, but no worries, we're going to try to work on it. <laughs> it's not looking that much great for now, but we're going to work on it. So since we're trying to make a magnifying glass effect, of course, we're going to look for a magnifying glass over here. And let's click on well it depends on you you can use photo elements if you want a more realistic um, magnifying glass or you could also go to graphics if you want a um, cartoony effect so select a certain magnifying glass you'd like to use for this project mm, let's say for example this one perhaps this one would be okay we're gonna put that there and resize it to your liking and then position it wherever you want to place it um say for example over there would be okay and now what i'd like to do is go to the elements again and type in frame and i'm gonna click on all and click on this circular frame over here and i'm gonna adjust it to be about the same size as the uh, the whole of our magnifying glass i think that should be okay all right and now we are going to add the same photo that we have over here. So let's go to elements again and click on this one, drag the photo over here, just like that. And in order to adjust the size and the position of our photo inside the frame, we're gonna double click on it and zoom it in just like that. And as far as I can remember, I think we were like zooming in on this guy over here. So let's try to make it as big as possible. And then once you're done positioning things, click on done. Okay, the next thing I'd like to do, I'd like to click on my background image here. And I'd like to blur it out. So I'm going to click on it, go to edit image, select blur. And I'm going to click on Auto Blur. And I think 30% would be okay. But you can adjust the slider over here or input values over here, depending on how blurred you'd like your image to be. Once you're done, click on Apply. Okay, and there it is. So now I'd like to send this frame element to the back. So I'm going to click on Position then backward and there let's try another one but this time we're gonna be using books or text something like that so add page and I'm going to go to pexels or pixabay um, to look for some images that we can use I like using pexels and pixabay because most of their image elements are free so if you want to know how I got these two onto my sidebar, I actually just clicked on the apps button right here. So click on apps, scroll down and find Pexels or Pixabay, which, is, which are right over here. Choose either one of them and there you go. Uh, search for images that you'd like. In this case, I'm going to search for book and I'm going to search for something that I'd like to use how about this one this seems nice 
we're going to right click on it and set image as background and I'm gonna copy this over here put it right over here and then we're gonna go to the element section and look for a frame or yeah just go to recently used and use the same frame we used earlier we're gonna position our circle frame properly and according to the size of the whole of our magnifying glass Then we're going to insert the same photo that we used. So Pixabay, this one, insert it over there. And we're going to adjust its size by double clicking on it and by resizing it. And then click on done once you're done. And then we're going to send it backwards there. And now I'd like to blur the um, background image. So we're going to click on it, edit image, then find blur over here. And select auto blur. And click on apply okay and here we are and if you like you can actually also add elements additional elements to your design if that's what you want say for example this one for example i think this one fits the first design better and then we're going to change its color to white And there you go. So that's how you create a magnifying glass effect right here in Canva. And yeah, that's all for now. We hope you found today's video of help somehow. Thank you so much for watching. We really appreciate it. And we look forward to seeing you in the next video. You have a great day.